I went to the rallies on Saturday in London and it was a really long day. We went to Downing Street and then we went to the Russian Embassy and as we were gathering at the end of the day I got a WhatsApp from my husband with two uh, cartons of paint and uh, a suggestion that we paint our house the Ukrainian flag. So at first I thought he was joking for several reasons. It's a major, major change to the house as you can see and also uh, he's not inclined to just do DIY without being asked so on more than one level it was quite remarkable. But the reason why we wanted to do it and I agreed to it obviously like I feel very strongly about this and I'm I'm so happy that he does too is that we have friends in Ukraine really close friends and we are deeply concerned about the situation and we really just wanted to show a strong statement that we're supporting uh, Ukraine and we're standing with them at this time so we weren't expecting any attention for the house like despite the the fancy colors that it has really we just wanted our friends to know that we were with them in Ukraine and um, and we still want them to know that so I love it when I see people you have no idea what difference it makes when you see people putting something even on their window just a little flag just a little message of support just hashtag stand with Ukraine or anything like that you see that on people's windows and it's really encouraging and I, what I would like is I know that there's a really strong feeling among not just Ukrainians but people who aren't Ukrainian I'm not Ukrainian and we have a really strong feeling um, both of me and my husband my whole family uh, against this horrible war and we know many people in the UK who aren't Ukrainian as well as Ukrainian but we know people who are Chinese people who are Japanese people who are Indian and they all are united against this um, catastrophe so in addition to this invasion of Putin's forces that's a military war and Russia is very, very strong militarily. However, there's also another war taking place and that's an information war. And Putin is armed with lies and the rest of the world is armed with the truth. So in Cambridge, we're meeting every day outside of King's College on King's Parade at 5.30 p.m. That's every day. And many people who have been meeting there have been meeting there every day since the start of the war. On Saturday, we're holding a larger demonstration that uh, kicks off from the Granta at 1.45 p.m. Um, and then goes back all the way to um, King's College and King's Parade, it'll end there. And we'll be hoping that as many people can join that as possible. And finally, we're also organizing collection points in Cambridge for people to put clothes and all of this kind of thing. There's a full list that, that I'll put up um, on my Instagram later. Um, it's at Rend Platings on Instagram and you can also follow the Cambridge um, University uh, Ukrainian Society, uh, which is on Facebook. It's a Facebook group and they put a lot of the, the updates.